good evening friends i am dr ramesh parimi surgical oncologist and uh, addressing you interacting with you from face hospital madhapur hyderabad well uh, today's uh, interesting topic for you would be what's called uh, breast cancer treatment mainly about mastectomy well breast cancer is one of the solid organ tumors like breast is solid organ and we oncologists consider it as solid organ tumors and uh, liquid tumors like that so for most of the solid organ tumors in general uh, surgery is the treatment of choice mostly whether it is breast or uh, cheek cancer or even bowel cancer like that now in breast cancer for the past 100 years uh, the standard treatment has been what do you call mastectomy mastectomy means removal of the complete uh, breast i'm not going to details of uh, breast cancer origin spread and all that no so when some lady is subjected to mastectomy because of a malignant tumor in the breast and uh, having done all the work up and indications and also the suitability of this procedure for the particular patient the procedure overview is like this patient uh, is operated in such a way that the breast which is affected with cancer is removed completely and uh, apart from the breast the drainage area that is the lymph node cancer can spread to lymph nodes not only spreading locally into the skin nipple and also into the chest wall it can also spread to what we call the lymph nodes so there are a particular set of lymph nodes into which the malignant cells or infection from a particular organ drains from breast whether the right side or left side tumor spread to the axillary group of lymph nodes so the axillary group in this armpit lymph nodes so in the mastectomy procedure the affected breast along with the lymph nodes on that side which we call ipsilateral side are also removed surgically and uh, these lymph nodes in the axilla or armpit on the same side as the affected breast are disposed of in three level level 1 level 2 and level 3 and depending on the findings preoperatively either by pet scan or by ultrasound scan or even by nowadays what you call the uh, sentinel lymph node indication that particular group or particular node are removed so mastectomy is a procedure of choice all over the world in specifically indicated case of breast cancer wherein the breast is removed along with the lymph nodes in the axilla well after removal of the breast evidently there won't be any uh, breast to be seen on that particular side on that side and then uh, it will be just a chest wall which will be evident well in majority of the cases when the breast cancer is locally advanced it's called labh we call means a locally advanced breast cancer labc uh mastectomy is the procedure of choice and there are different types of mastectomies than the fatty mastectomy modified radical the uh, rutherford varison so many are there about four so depending on the type of uh, mastectomy is performed the name is given but essentially it is removal of the breast with the lymph nodes so the purpose of this operation is that any locally advanced breast cancer is completely removed along with the skin if there is cancer cells already present in the skin in the nipple in the areola and uh, base of the tumor that is breast tissue may be on the pectoral muscles the muscles of the chest wall area and also the affected lymph nodes are all removed in one go at one stage in the single sitting operation the purpose is to get a what is called arvo resection arvo means there is no residual tumor at all even when examined microscopically that issue sent there the cut margins or whatever you call that is there in the breast tumor you know the base of the tumor that is which is on the in relation to the chest wall fascia and also the upper and lower medial and lateral edges of the breast tumor should not contain any cancer cells even on microscopic examination the cut margins are absolutely and adequately free from the tumor and also tumor cells the distance from this edge of the breast tissue removed to the center of the tumor is called the cut margin length and breadth
Now, as I told you, the indication is carcinoma of the breast, which is locally advanced cancer of breast, LA, which is locally advanced to breast cancer. And uh, because of this operation, there are no any specific complications, but uh, uh, while doing this surgery, it's important that the skin, which is going to cover the chest wall later, or adequately thin or adequately thick, whatever, adequately thin in the sense, uh, uh, we should not leave behind any cancer cells in the skin flaps. Adequately thick, what I mean is, uh, they should not be too thin that the flaps should not get proper blood supply and they get necrosed. So, avoiding this, this procedure has to be done. And regarding complication as enumerated, there is not much of complication, but uh, the skin flap necrosis. Secondly, the collection of uh, lymph, that is the fluid under the skin, that is under the incision or the sutures and in the armpit, that is called seroma. And uh, generally, drains are kept and they are removed when the discharge or the drain collection is much less, less than say 20 mLs per day. These drains are called suction drains and Romavac is the usual type of drains that are used to remove the fluid which accumulates following this kind of surgery. There could be mild uh, difficulty in using the shoulder joint and the arm movements on the affected side because of the muscles which might be a bit weak following the surgery called the pectoral muscles might get little bit of denervated that is some of the nerves might be get affected supplying this muscle. So, there may be a difficulty for a short period of time, movement of the shoulder joint and also the arm, upper arm. Sometimes there will be what you call a kind of tingling numbness felt all through the upper arm on the affected side where the surgery is done. That is because of the intercostal brachial nerves being sacrificed during the surgery. So, the advantage of this operation is that uh, the tumor is totally removed and also the lymph nodes which are affected are removed. It is a complete uh, total uh, extirpation of the tumor from the site of origin and the likely spread to the lymph nodes. That is the advantage of this operation. This kind of radical surgery, no doubt. Generally, the recovery time from a radical mastectomy of a patient in modern times is about 3 to 5 days. The drains might be there in place for about 3 days and an average. can go on even up to 7 to 10 days in some instances where the tumor has been quite large and the breast has been uh, quite uh, huge in size, large in size. So, these uh, kind of uh, patients who have rather big tumors and uh, size of the breast being uh, bit uh, more, they may drain for a longer time and drains have to be kept. So, average recovery time is about 3 to 5 days and drains rarely in some instances may be there in place for about 7 to 10 days. But for that, there is no other major uh, complication coming out of the surgery. So, I got the, the brief uh, bird's eye view overview of the surgery, the purpose of surgery and uh, the indications apart from complications of the surgery advantages and recovery time have been discussed. And um, this is one of the commonest operations performed especially in our country where the breast cancer might be diagnosed in stage 2 or say 3. Of course, there are other procedures which follow uh, or this procedure or even precede this procedure called neoadjuvant and adjuvant therapies having given some chemotherapy followed by surgery and then again if necessary post operatively chemo and also radiotherapy. So, this in brief about the uh, operation called mastectomy for breast cancer. Hope it has been interesting and uh, you are able to gain some knowledge about this operation in performed for breast cancer. Thank you very much.